Hey, hey, let's hear it for the Hay Sisters. I think these kids are going to go someplace. Those girls are terrific. We can put that number right into our new show. Absolutely. And they certainly don't take after their brother, Freckleface Haynes, the dog faced boy. Yeah, especially that one. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, that redhead is a knockout. Well, I was talking about the blonde. A partner, that is why you and I made great partners. <laughs> oh, but a beautiful girl like that, she's probably got a ton of guys going after her. She's probably married. So why don't you find out in some charming, roundabout way? Talk to her, Bob. What do you mean, talk to her? I invited them over for a drink. They'll be here in a minute. Go what? Well, you think I'm sitting here to look at more of you? <laughs> but, but what am I supposed to do? Well, I would say, you know, be yourself, but instead, why don't you try to be relaxed? <laughs> just be natural. Be natural? Yeah, it's just a couple casual questions. Uh, they're on the way over, so just be natural. <laughs> am I lopsided? <laughs> You're gorgeous. Now relax. Talk to them, Betty. Be natural. Natural. Hi. Hi. That was a good number for you. That was a terrific number. How do you do? <laughs> I'm Judy Haynes, and this is my sister, Betty. Wallace and Davis. Uh, Davis and Wallace. Oh, we know who you are. Oh, well, sit down, sit down, have some champagne. Come along, Bob, don't be shy. He's the formal type. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Okay, let's have some champagne. There you go, there you are. Uh, cheers to you, cheers to you, and well, cheers to us. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Are you married, Miss Haynes? <laughs> Real natural, Bob. Now, uh, Bob and I are doing a new show. You two would fit right in if you could make a Wednesday rehearsal in Miami. Actually, I'm single. Without any children. Which is to say, I have no children to speak of. To speak of? Uh, well, we do have that train to catch tonight. You was like so to get right. sit down. Okay. <laughs> so, rehearsal in Miami? Too bad. We actually have a train of our own to catch tonight. Oh, yes. Uh, we're booked for the holidays in Pine Tree, Vermont. Vermont? Where's that? I mean, what's in Vermont besides uh, beautiful looking girls? <laughs> a lot of snow. You know, Frankie sent us a terrific letter about you two. Oh, so is that how you found out about us? Oh, yes, and look at that. Frankie has the same handwriting as Judy. Even the little smiley faces in the O's. Just a family resemblance. You know, the rat side of the family. You are kidding me. You mean I got taken and I didn't even know it. Mr. Davis, I am so sorry. Sorry? You are brilliant. You care to dance? Uh -huh. That's good. <laughs> Judy, we have a training guy. Oh, shush. The formal type. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Wallace, I apologize for my sister's behavior. What for? Judy did nothing wrong. She saw an angle and she went for it. An angle? Yeah, she played the percentages and got exactly what she wanted. <laughs> percentages and angles? Isn't that a bit cynical? Come on, Miss Haynes. There's a little bit of larceny in all of us. My sister and I do not play angles. Oh, and I suppose the phony letter from your brother wasn't an angle? Do you mind if I just sit here and enjoy my drink? Please do. Make sure you sip it from the right angle. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're crazy about each other. You know, maybe Bob and I should come up. That was fun. How are you two doing? Good. Uh, terrific. Great. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, then. Well, uh, we better get hooked and partner if we want to make that train. Yes. Us too. I'll tell you what. I'll go down to Grand Central Station. I'll pick up the tickets. Don't you worry about a thing. I will handle all the arrangements. You're suddenly very eager. Well, you've got work to do, partner. Don't you remember work? Well, Mr. Davis, it was a pleasure. 
I hope we meet again very, very soon. Oh. <laughs> Miss Haynes. Mr. Wallace. I wish you a Merry Christmas, but you probably don't believe in Christmas. <laughs> oh.